In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to use NOT and NOR gates, how they work, where to use them, and just as important, where not to use them. What's up guys, Dark Dally here, and today I'm continuing the series on logic gates. This will be part three of the series, and today we're looking at NOT and NOR gates. Now their description both says the same thing and through all my testing they both do the exact same thing. They transmit power when they're not getting power. Which means if the wire going to them has no power signal they put out a positive power signal. And if they are getting power they put out nothing. Now I uh, did some reading on the internet and by the way I should mention that it can be confusing when you try to google or go to YouTube and look up logic gates because a lot of the information is out of date and a lot of it is sheer speculation. I did Google before I did this. I tried to do some research and find out if there, if anyone else knows the difference between these two gates. And most of what I found, honestly, it was speculation by people who hadn't used them. Um, I, I think it was po forum posts that came out before this DLC came out that introduced these logic gates. So be careful when you're searching for stuff like this on the internet. Also, I think some of the system has been fixed because problems I've had with logic gates before are no longer causing me problems. I think Bethesda has updated some things also. Also, be careful when you search for information on these things because you search and you're finding a lot of old data and also a lot of people saying they're buggy and I still have yet to detect any bugs in logic gates. It's just these people are hooking them up wrong and flooding the information with incorrect information. I wanted to put that out there. Let's continue learning about these gates. So not ignore Let's say they do the same thing. Uh, unless someone can correct me and point out otherwise, what they do, so I'll just refer to it as not. What not does is it transmits power when inputs ha when no inputs have power. Now I'm going to show you one example of how you can use it and two examples of how not to use it. Why am I only showing you one how to use it and two not to? Because it's a gate that you would think would apply in more places than it actually does. It's really only good for one thing, as far as I know. Now, there's going to be other small applications, like someone will probably comment in this video and say, oh, I used it for this super obscure application in the middle of a chain of 15 conveyor belts. Okay, well, maybe you did, but really the only thing you're going to use it for is to f flip a power signal from yes to no or from no to yes. You know what I mean? It's really the only thing you're going to use it for, and only in the middle of a circuit, not at the beginning of a circuit. I will get to that in the next example. Here is a small little circuit I made of only three logic gates, so hopefully I can explain this fairly easily. And this will show one good way to use a NOT gate. So, here we have an interval switch, which flicks on and then off. It's on off five seconds at a time. I have this running to an XOR gate. Now, I haven't done the XOR gate tutorial yet, but again, the only real use for a NOT gate is in the middle of a series of logic gates. And so there's just, yeah, there's going to have the other gates here I'll have to explain. So this little uh, interval light goes to this XOR logic gate. The XOR logic gate turns on when it has one input, you know, it turns on when it has one power input and it turns off when it has two power inputs because there's two wires going to it. The generator is always on. This light goes on and off. That means every time this light turns on, this XOR gate turns off. When the light turns off, it only has one power input, and the XOR gate turns on. The XOR gate is what you want to use to invert power at the beginning of a circuit because you don't need other logic gates before it to feed it power. So basically, this little XOR gate is just flipping the power signal. Honestly, why would I do that? Well, the reason I'm doing that is so I could accommodate a place for a NOT gate because it's not an incredibly useful gate in a small circuit. So I flipped the power with an XOR gate so that I could use this. So here's what I do. I flip the power here. So now this flicks off and on at opposite intervals of this. That's really all you need to know. And these next two gates, what they do is they help power this light. When this goes off, the NOT gate comes on. Because now it has no input. See, it's putting out no power, so now it comes on. When this comes on, then it, you know, the power goes through here. This is an OR gate should be yeah or an or gate is very simple in that it simply provides power you know if it has any input so the, what this little circuit I made does to demonstrate how the NOT gate works this little circuit simply keeps the light on it simply says 
if that's if this is on, we put power to it. If this is off, then we'll flip the signal. Okay, and now put power to it. So every time these gates flick, it just keeps the light on. This not gate is just flipping the signal back and forth to keep the OR gate happy. I hope I explained that correctly. It's the best way I can explain it. This is actually the third shoot I've done of this video. This is as simple as I can know how to explain a not gate. Now, that said, let's move on to the next example. And after I do these series of tutorials, I'm going to do applications. And they'll be more complicated. Okay, and I may not explain them as well because they won't be tutorials, they'll be applications. You build those things and it will help you if you're having trouble understanding what some of these gates do, then that will help you understand what they do better. I think that would be a good idea. So first, I do want to do these tutorials to give you a basic understanding if you don't have one, if you don't have the basic understanding, you know. And then I'll do applications where it's just a simple matter of you build, you know, whatever is in the video and in building it and using it, it'll give you first-hand knowledge because some people, I've had a lot of people comment on my uh, Logic Gate videos and want more. And the best way I can decide, I, I figure I can give more, is, is to have you guys apply what I do. And maybe you can learn better by doing it because it's hard to explain. Here we have a NOR gate and a NOT gate lying side by side. Now these are two, you know, these, these circuits are parallel. So these are not affecting each other whatsoever. The reason I have them is to show you they're doing the same thing. You know, they work exactly the same whether they have one input or multiple inputs here they only have one input here's to show you that they will not flip power see this light lights up but when it goes off if this was inverting the power then when that goes off this would light up but it doesn't it doesn't because this gate requires power and you can't just when i say it requires power you can't just do this because now it'll never turn on because now it has a positive power signal you have to give it you know, like a latent power signal, the kind it would get from a network of logic gates. That's why you don't want to use this at the beginning of a series of logic gates. So this is really only useful for flipping your power signals in the middle of a system like I showed you over there. Here we have the same thing, only this one actually does work. Uh, one second here. Why are these both on? XOR gate. Oh, I know why. I know why. Fixed. Okay. Here we have an XOR gate which actually is flipping the power. Again, like I sh and I'll, I'll do the XOR gate tutorial last. It this actually does flip power. So, this is an example of where not to use a uh, uh, not logic gate. Don't try to use it by itself or at the beginning of a circuit to flip a signal because that's what everyone on the internet says it does. Yes, it does do that, but not by itself. If you want to flip a power signal by itself, you use an XOR gate. And I will show you how to do that in, you know, a later video. What else would you not use a NOT gate for? Well, here's another thing you would not use it for. This is a thing, when I was designing this little system, I thought that I would need a NOT gate. Because what this simply is, is it's a switch which controls a door. I, I, I said to myself, what if I want to switch that controls a door, right? And then another switch that controls another object, like say this light is another door or this light is a turret or something like that and this switch controls that well let's say I want a system so that if this door is open then this disables that door so that they work independently and you could say this works as a safety for that door so that, that anytime this switch is on this switch won't function the switch won't function at all with the other one on but as soon as we go ahead and disable the secondary device, then this door opens. Now, this is a very useful application. This will be in my application series of videos. This, compacted down, is a very powerful tool for many machines you can make. This, you know, by itself, it's something which allows one function to be performed as long as another function is off. And the reason this is in the NOT video is because logic would lead you to think that you would want a NOT gate, you know, because the basic logic function of this is you know, if this is true, then this. If this is true, then not this. I mean, you know, more or less, right? So logic would say, well, I'm going to need a not gate in there somewhere to flip this signal so that this switch turns this one off. Nope. Don't even try it. Just, you know, stick to using not gates to flip a signal. Like, for instance, when you want to um, 
boy, there's a lot of times when you could use it, and I, I do want to keep this video simple, but I just want to show times when you wouldn't want to use it. This is actually two XOR gates and an AND gate. So I don't need to go into how this works. This will be a later video. I want to keep this simple. What you do want to use NOT for is simply like right here. A, it's in the middle of system of logic gates. B, it's getting, you know, its power just, you know, latently, I guess you could say, from other logic gates. That's why you need it in the middle. And it's simply flipping that power signal. Now that could be, that doesn't have to be one wire, that could be several wires. As long as all of them are off, then it provides a positive signal out. Alright, so to wrap that up, I just want to keep that simple. All the other stuff I showed you, I will elaborate on later. And then I will show this system later, as well as its big brother, which is over here, which is that same system, only times two. It's So this is twice as complex. It's that I have two doors, each door acting as a safety trigger for the other. And uh, so stuff like this is what's going to be in the applications video. And putting stuff together like this, and I know these wires look really confusing, and it's because I just strung them up. Putting together stuff like this, well, I think, will actually is be, be better than tutorials because me showing you how to do stuff is um, apparently confusing a lot of people, even though I try to go slow. So I just want to end this video saying that a NOT gate, you're best off just using it until you have a better better understanding of it, all that it can do. And, you know, like I said in, the, I think it was one of the previous ones, once you have a better understanding of what it can do, then, you know, a tutorial wouldn't really be necessary so keep in mind, use it in the middle of logic gates, like say you have three, you know, or whatever. Just make sure you have something before it to give it power, and it just flips the signal. I hope this was helpful. I know that I breezed through some of that, but again, those wires are not important. Most of this was examples on how not to use it, so, um, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, um, let me know uh, any feedback, questions, whatever. Remember, more is coming on this to make some of this stuff clearer, so... Um, well, it's been a pleasure. I hope that uh, this came through all right. If you like what you see in my channel, why not go ahead and subscribe? Keep up to date on the content and, you know, later videos which are coming out to this series. Guys, my name is Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.